new chapter called Punish an Unsafe King. So the title is pretty clear. We're going to try to win the game thanks to the weakness of our our opponent's king. So that does not necessarily mean a forced checkmate, although unsafe kings means that there is a checkmate in the air somehow. But of course, it can be that uh, the opponent can prevent the checkmate and uh, lose a lot of material. So we're just looking for a win linked to the weakness of our, our opponent's king. Um, nevertheless, this inter introductory example, as well as the full as the first examples of the chapters of the chapter, is a forced checkmate. So there are different ways for a king to be weak. Um, here, the black king, I mean, black is far behind in uh, development. His king remains in the center, while white has developed everything. He has his two rocks directed uh, towards the black king, as well as the queen on d4. We can see some sacrifices coming. Definitely a king in the center when the opponent has a lead in uh, development is generally a weak king. A king that has already castled is also weak if it has no or few defenders only in front of him. So anyway, in all examples we're going to see in this chapter, the opponent's king will be weak and we're going to punish it. The solution of the introductory example is a brilliant queen sacrifice which was found by Gordon against an opponent that we do not know, uh, which generally means that the game was played in a, in a simul, so a brilliant combination, especially for a, for a simul game, that is easy to miss. Here white sacrificed a queen on d7, this chapter will be full of will be full of sacrifices um, I mean we're looking for mating combinations basically so it generally involves uh, sacrifices so although not always of course queen d7 check forcing the bishop to take the queen so we're, we are deflecting the defender that could also have gone to this chapter on deflecting the defender as now there is no defender on the e-file and we can give a double check on d6. It is very important that we are covering the f7 square so the king cannot escape to the king side. It has to go to d8. And then we give another check on f7. King c8. Rook e8 check. Sacrificing a rook. After having sacrificed a full queen, we now sacrifice a full rook, but we do have a checkmate on the next move. We will have quite a few examples like this uh, along the chapter, uh, where you have to sacrifice quite a lot. You need to calculate quite long variations. Here it was made in five, uh, but variations are very forcing. For example, in this inter inter introductory example, there was only one possible move for black after every white move. Here, black has to take, knight d6, there is only one square for the black king. Again, only one square. Again, only one move, black has to capture and then checkmate. It is sometimes easier to calculate uh, longer variations when all the moves are forced than short variations when the opponent has a wide choice of, uh, uh, of possibilities. So anyway, um, that was the introductory example, and we're going to punish the opponent's king in all the following ones as well.